DeWine says our chances at keeping kids in the classroom are in danger. Here's a closer look at the numbers right now. COVID-19 cases in school-aged kids up 44% last week, but only about 55% of all public school students are now required to mask up. The governor says that's just not enough. Some parents agree. News 5's Jesse Schultz begins our in-depth coverage with one mom's push to get her district to change and what could happen if cases keep trending in the wrong direction. A mask mandate in schools is something Hannah Magrin has wanted since the start of the year. With my seven-year-old being medically complex, it was really the only safe way we could get him into the building. She has three children in Medina City Schools, and her seven-year-old Corbin is more at risk of a severe COVID reaction. Corbin has um, two rare chromosome disorders that caused a cascade of other issues. Medina's mask policy is optional. But if any building hits a high absentee rate, masks are mandatory for two weeks until the cases are under control. There are currently 68 active student cases and three buildings under a mask mandate. It was a little bit like trying to put out a house fire with a garden hose. But it's clear other parents don't feel that way. Do you know what it's called when you force a medical device that you, you um, explain to us as a mask on our child's face? for fear of a virus that causes them or you no harm. It's called child abuse. When other parents throw out the stats for, well, you know, 98% or 99% of kids are just gonna be fine. And I always think like, but what about my kid? Like, does, does he not matter? Is he not worthy? She knows people would ask, why not just keep Corbin at home? How do you do occupational therapy virtually? It's, it's not easy to do that and he needs a lot of one on one support. So she's speaking up too, not through public comment at a school board meeting, but an online petition. And we wanted it to be a common voice and we wanted it to be something that they couldn't ignore. In two days, more than 650 people have signed it. We're just all working on basically the common thread that we want kids in school and we want our kids in school safely. Keeping kids inside the classroom and outside of a hospital is also the goal of Dr. Claudia Hoyan with Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. Um, the number of children we've seen in our emergency room um, has absolutely skyrocketed um, in the last two weeks. Dr. Hoyan says they're not sure if the Delta variant is making kids sicker, but they know it's more contagious. The number of cases of children in the hospital for COVID alone are probably at the highest levels um, that we've seen throughout the entire pandemic. She says they're not yet at a point where their hospital is overwhelmed, but worries if masking is not implemented at all schools. It's a matter of if and not when. Well, I think the adult hospitals are feeling this much more acutely. Uh, than the pediatric hospitals, but we are certainly following suit. Reporting in Medina, Jesse Schultz, News 5. And the governor said today there is a reason he's not making his appeal for masks in school a requirement. That reason? The state legislature. Ohio lawmakers overrode the governor's veto of Senate Bill 22 earlier this year, which allows state lawmakers to vote down health orders like a mask mandate or emergency declarations in the state. The legislature has made very clear that if we put on a mandate uh, for kids in school to wear masks, that they will take it off. If that happens, we would cause a lot, it seems to me, a lot of confusion, and we might go backwards. Back in the spring, the governor said he vetoed that bill because he believed it was unconstitutional and would hurt the state's ability to properly respond to health emergencies like COVID-19.